Hey, in this video, we are going to cover Yarn, which is a very cool new NPM replacement. Uh, if you've been doing front end or back end development with Node.js, then you're used to using NPM to install all of your JavaScript packages. NPM is great, but there are a few deficiencies with it that Yarn fixes. And so we're going to cover that real quick. I'm going to show you how great it is. Um, to get started with Yarn, all you have to do is NPM install G Yarn, and then you're good to go. Yarn gets installed and it will work with your existing package JSON for lots of projects. It's just going to work out of the box. You just use Yarn instead of NPM. So while that's installing real quick, there we go, that's done. Let's go ahead now and do an NPM install. You can see I just kind of threw a package together and threw in some dependencies. Let's say Lodash, MobX, MySQL, React, Connects, Babel, and Webpack. All right, let's go ahead and do an NPM install and see how long this takes here. And I've already tested this. It takes about 25, between 20 and 30 seconds to do this NPM install, which is quite a bit of time to just get a few JavaScript packages because it's pretty much going through synchronously and getting them all one at a time for the most part. Um, so there we go, still going, still going, still going. This takes a while. There you go, still going. All right, that took a while. And we've got our node modules created. So let's go ahead and RMR. Let's rimraf our node modules folder. And let's do this with yarn real quick. Yarn install. Let's see what we have here. There it goes. Looking up all the package dependency trees, installing everything, and boom. Almost boom. Boom. That took 10 seconds. Much, 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 much faster. Cool thing about yarn is it caches everything, which means if we have another project, let's say node modules is gone, or yarn install again here. This is going to be much faster. You can see the fetching was instantaneous and now we're done in five seconds. If this was another project using the exact same versions of some of these packages, those packages would not have to fetch. You essentially get offline development for everything that you've already had to fetch before. So we've established that speed is this big plus with Yarn. Let's look at the next major big thing that Yarn adds for you, and that's application stability. You can notice this Yarn lock file over here. This is basically your NPM shrink wrap file. If you've ever messed with NPM shrink wrap, it's not a whole lot of fun. You've got to always update it yourself. Sometimes you actually have to get in there manually and mess with it. It basically locks down your full dependency tree. Well, because if you don't do that, then you might end up with slightly different versions of packages on different developer machines, or you might have a slightly different package version on your machine and then go to production and it doesn't work. Uh, and that can be just a lot of frustration. And so Yarn automatically locks it down all the time. And it's a really clean and easy to read format. You can see that this is the Yarn lock file. It's really easy to understand. Let's go to React. React, you can see there's my React dependencies. Wow, that's pretty nice. Let's look at something more involved. Let's say connects. There's my connects dependencies. Not too bad. You can see them all right there. Boom, 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 boom. And we're good to go. So if you ever want to update something, let's go ahead and look at React. We're pulling off a 0.14. There's a later version out there. So my package JSON, same thing. I can go yarn upgrade React. And it fetches it very quickly as expected. We're now running React 15.4.2. And you can see I'm now, let's go to React. I'm now running the upgraded version of React and Yarn Lock as well. So Yarn Lock, you want to commit to your repository, to your source control, just like you would with your package JSON. And now if any other environment pulls this and doesn't install, they're going to get the exact same versions that they're supposed to get. So between these two features, it's a really big addition. A lot of cool stuff. There's a little bit of a difference in the way you'll type the commands. Uh, instead of npm install, you'll do yarn add. A lot of CLIs are using add instead of install these days because it's a lot easier to type. So yarn add view. Let's go ahead and add view. There we go. That's added. You can see it's added right there. And let's say we want to add something else to a dev dependency. Yarn add D jQuery. So now it's going to add as a dev dependency. So there we go, jQuery is in our dev dependencies. Uh, so that's pretty similar. Um, and then you could also do yarn start, just like npm start. So for the most part, all the commands are the same. Yarn remove jQuery, 
take jQuery away, there we go. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, Yarn has definitely been a great addition to my team and I hope it helps you out in your day-to-day -day workflows.